Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Augie. Good morning, Bobby Allen. Good morning, Camille. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Dayati. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Harper. Good morning, Joaquin. Good morning, Judah. Good morning, Juliet. Good morning, Kai. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning, Kingston. Good morning, Lakin. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Nova. Good morning, Oscar. Good morning, Rhea. Good morning, Roscoe. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Tristan. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Ben. Everybody sing my name. Good morning, Miss Morgan. Good morning, classroom. Good morning, house. Wake up your house, everybody. <laughs> Drum roll. In three, two, one, stop. Awesome, great job. I wanted to sing each of your names this morning, one at a time, because guess what? It's my last morning singing to you, singing the good morning song. This will be my uh, last video of just me filming. Um, I will be in another video of all the teachers together, and then we'll send a few here and there out. But this is my last circle with you. Woo! I'm trying really hard not to cry. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's start Woo! with a mindful minute pretzel. You guys remember how we had this mindful minute pretzel box in the mindful uh, the yoga pretzel box. So today I thought I'd choose one out of the box to do because these are all so fun. And this one's called Mind Magic. This guy's dressed up as a lion. <laughs> so I'll say the, say the um, words to you and you guys can follow what I'm saying, okay? So find a spot comfortable where you can breathe and be quiet and not too much noise except for my voice. Okay? It's okay if mom and dad are in the kitchen or around you, but try to concentrate on, on the words that I'm saying, okay? And how, how you feel. Whew. All right. Sit mindfully with your spine straight and your body relaxed. Relax your body. Close your eyes and take three soft, slow, mindful breaths. Close your eyes. One. Two. Three. While your eyes are closed, imagine you're an animal. Focus your mind and your attention on your skin and your fur. You can feel it if you need to. Notice how it holds together all of your muscles and all of your animal bones. Now imagine your skin is stretching you into a new animal form. What does that feel like? Is it bigger? Are you smaller? Now imagine that instead of being just one animal, you're now three animals. Whoa. What does it feel like to take breath and move like three animals? Let's take a breath and move like three animals. Imagine it. Picture it. Now imagine all the animals disappear, but you're still there, but you're invisible. What does that feel like? Where does your breath go when you're invisible? How did you feel when there were all those animals you had to be? It felt like a lot. Make those animals disappear. It's just you, but you're invisible. 
How do you breathe? How do you feel? When you're ready, open your eyes and notice your human body again. Imagining yourself in new shapes trains your mind to be flexible. Did you know that? Imagining your body in new shapes and more than one person or animal makes your mind be flexible. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, guys. I thought that we could do a little bit of Mr. Wolf again, but instead of Mr. Wolf, I'm going to say you're going to be Mr. Shark. I'm going to be Mr. Shark. And... Um, you guys will say, Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what time is it? Okay? So, make sure you have about 10 steps from me to you. So, if you're watching me on the TV, 10 steps. If you're watching me on an iPhone, maybe go put the iPhone down so you can see me. Have your parents help you set it up a little bit so you can see me. But you need some space to take your steps, okay? Ready? Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark. What time is it? It's three o'clock. One, two, three. Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what time is it? It's two o'clock. One, two, uh -oh, I'm getting closer. Are you guys getting closer to me? Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what time is it? One o'clock. One. Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what time is it? Two o'clock. One, two. Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what time is it? One o'clock. One. <laughs> Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what time is it? Lunch time! Run around like crazy, guys! I'm chasing you. I'm hunting you down in the ocean. Na, 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 na. I caught you guys. <laughs> you guys were too quick for me. Good job, guys. Play that game at home with your parents. They would probably love that game. It's fun. You can play it outside, run around, get all your energy out. Okay. So, what we talked about this week is us moving on, maybe going to TK. Maybe going to kindergarten, maybe having to wait at home for a little while longer until preschool's all the way open. Maybe coming to preschool, but it's going to be and look different because we have to um, go by new rules to keep each other safe and healthy and to prevent us from getting sick. So there might be some changes, but guess what? When you guys get to go to kinder, you get to play on the big playground. And when you guys come back to preschool, we're going to be, when some of you, sorry, come back to preschool, we'll be playing on the playground here. But I found a fun book about these silly animals playing on a playground at school. And they have a teacher. She's blowing her whistle at them, trying to make sure they follow the rules. So I thought we could check this out and see if they have the same playground rules as us, maybe we can learn some things about playing on the playground. But just to see animals going to school. Okay. All right. This book is called Please Play Safe. Penguin's Guide. There's a little glare. Penguin's Guide to Playground Safety. I think Penguin might be like the teacher or the person who watches them play make sure they don't get hurt by Marjorie Kuehler when friends go to the playground with penguin they should run so fast that they knock each other down what watch out is that right is that right you guys uh oh I don't think so because they're getting hurt and the penguin's blowing her whistle. No, that's wrong. When friends go to the playground with penguin, they should walk, not run, so no one gets hurt. That's more like it. That's a good, a good idea. You guys are able to run out outside, though, usually. 
When elephant plays on the seesaw, he should jump off quickly so that his friend bumps his head on the ground. Thud. Is that right? No. Have you guys seen a seesaw before? One person sits on one side and one sits on the other and you jump up and down. Well, you sit down, but you uh, bend your knees so that um, your body boings up and down and up and down and you switch sides. Teeter tot. No, that's wrong. When elephant plays on the seesaw, he should stay put until his friend climbs off. Easy does it. When chimpanzee plays on the monkey bars, he should grab the rungs before her friend makes it across. No, here I come. Is that right? No, we gotta wait our turn so no one gets hurt. Remember, you wait for someone to get, get all the way off and then you can go. No, that's wrong. When chimpanzee plays on the monkey bars, should we wait until her friend reaches to the other side? Yeah. When bear wants to play on the slide, should we crawl up on the front while she slides down? Is that right? Uh-oh. No, that's wrong. When Bear wants to climb up the slide, she should climb up the ladder and wait her turn. Or wait for the person to come down. I wonder if when you go to kindergarten, there might be different rules about the slide. I wonder, huh? When Hippo wants to play catch with her friend, she should throw the ball at his head. What? Boink. Is that right? No! <laughs> No, that's wrong. When Hippo wants to play catch with her friend, she should toss the ball when he's ready. Great catch. When Pig rides his scooter, he should throw his helmet on the ground before he sets off. No. Is that right? No. No, that's wrong. When Pig rides his scooter, he should wear his helmet in case like, he gets in an accident. Oops, I'm all right. When Rhino plays in the sandbox with his friends, he should kick sand in his face. Kick, kick. Is that right? No, we don't like sand in our eyes. We know how that is, especially at the beach, huh? No, that's wrong. When sand, when Rhino plays in the sandbox, he should scoop. He should ask his friends to help him dig. Scoop, scoop. When Parrot plays tag, she should fly into her friend's face so that she can't see. Flap, flap. Is that right? No. That's wrong. When Parrot plays tag, she should tag her friend gently on the back. You're it. When Giraffe wants to play with jump rope, she should use it to trip her friends. Ha ha, gotcha. Uh-oh, is that right? <laughs> no. That's wrong. When Giraffe wants to play with her jump rope, she should turn the rope and skip. Hop, hop. When Lion wants to play on the swing, she should run behind his friend and get knocked over. Kapow! Uh-oh, ouch, is that right? No, you gotta walk around, right? When Lion wants to play on the swing, he should wait until his friend stops and gets off. Yippee! My turn. You guys are so good at asking how many minutes. When it's time for friends to go home, they should leave their play things behind. Gotta go. Is that right? When it's time for you to get picked up from school, do you just leave everything? Or are you are you guys responsible and clean up after yourselves? Yeah, you clean up after yourselves. When it's time for friends to go home, they should take their play things with them or put them away. Bye-bye. Let's play again soon. Wow, those animals are pretty smart, pretty awesome. They seem like they have a lot of the same rules that uh, that we do at school, huh? So always remember when you're um, out and about, um, if you're at a new school, if you are still in our program, remember to be safe, to make friends, to be brave, and to have fun. Okay, guys, don't forget to do all of those things um, when you move on from our program. Um, really try not to end the video because I don't want to go. I'm going to miss you guys so much. I'll see you in a special video that hopefully we'll be able to um, send out to you guys this week. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy Miss Lorelei and Miss Erin's videos today. And I'll see you guys later. I had a great school year with you guys. And you guys make me so happy. Bye.